So if you're having any knee problems, and it could be right now while you're out going for a walk, you haven't started, you haven't done any walking before, and so you're starting a walking program while you're at home with everything, all the craziness that's going on out there in the world right now, you want to just get outdoors and get some free time and some time in the sun, knee problems can come up for any number of reasons. So let's say it starts because you're walking and you just started a walking program. Well, that can really bring uh, be brought on because you've got tight muscles in your legs. So tight muscles in the back of your legs, like your hamstrings strings or in the front of your hip, your hip flexors, or in the back of your leg, in the back of your hip, in your glutes, your piriformis, muscles called your obturators. But anytime muscles are tight, they're going to have a really big chance of causing knee problems. And so what's happening is it changes the direction that your kneecap is tracking. It can cause some rubbing and some friction. It might cause problems when you're walking. It may even cause problems while you're sitting. So, you know, in your mind, I'm thinking, okay, great, I get some time to catch up on all my Netflix shows that I haven't had a chance to see so much and all of a sudden these tight muscles I'm not even moving but I start having problems because of it so there are a lot of different things that can bring on tight muscles and then muscles tight muscles causing problems but tight muscles in any part of your leg basically from your waist all the way down to your calf and your ankle can really be a cause of knee problems another problem that causes knee problems is just how your kneecap tracks so your kneecap is a bone, it's like a rock that's tracking up and down in a tunnel in your leg and in that bone in the upper leg and so when we're walking or bending and straightening our knees or going up and down stairs or better yet when we're sitting a lot, especially if you're working from home right now, you're sitting in a different position or in a different chair, maybe you're sitting with your legs out straight, foot up on a footstool with the laptop on your legs, but that really changes the position of your kneecap. And that positional change will cause friction and pressure on the back of your kneecap. There's a lot of nerve endings on the back of that kneecap and it can cause a lot of pressure in places you haven't had it before so it's not accustomed to it. And then it can also start to cause, again, a lot of tightness. Muscles will get tight in protection of the position that that kneecap is sitting in. We're starting to do things that we haven't necessarily done in a while. Maybe now because you're home and there's time to go out and do some gardening, you're starting to kneel more or you're squatting more or you're moving around the yard more and doing things, picking things up, getting things ready for spring, whatever it might be. But that activity starts to bring on changes in what your knee has to do that it hasn't had to do for over the course of the winter and things like that. So again, knee problems can really come on as you start new activity or as you do more of a particular activity or you change that activity. Whether you're thinking about starting a running program or a walking program or you're gonna go down in the basement and get on the exercise bike or whatever it might be, those changes in activity, you wanna make sure that those muscles in your leg are really ready for those changes in activity. So what can you do for that? Well, you can check out one of our other blogs and one of our other pages about stretching and strengthening. Plenty of things that you can do right there at home. You don't need to go to the gym or anything like that, but how to get those activities ready, your body ready for those activities. Check those things out, start working on different things. And then from that point, you really need to just work into activity on a progressive schedule. Don't go out and start just doing four hours worth of yard work if you haven't done that over the course of the last couple of weeks. You're gonna pay the price for it tomorrow. Those muscles are gonna get tight and you're gonna end up with a knee problem that way. So again, just looking at what are the activities that I wanna do, that I need to do. If you're gonna do a lot of painting, climbing up and down the ladder is an activity you haven't done for a while. If you're gonna clean floors and clean out cabinets, that's, those are all great things to do while we're all stuck at home for the next couple of weeks. But we wanna make sure that we remember those are activities that we don't normally do on a regular basis. Take into account the fact that you need to break it up into pieces. Make sure that you're not letting muscles get tight as a result of what you're doing. So check out one of our pages about how to stretch your calves, how to stretch your hamstrings, how to stretch your hip flexors and your piriformis and all those different muscles so that everything here keeps that kneecap tracking properly. We keep you from having knee problems. Unfortunately, we're all stuck at home, but we can enjoy that time. We can be productive with it, with things we're doing around the house, start some new activities without paying the price and ending up in trouble. So I hope that helps you out. Be safe, and we hope to see you in the clinic soon.